And so what we're doing here is we are going to solve this system of equations by elimination. Now, the goal in elimination is to add up the variables and hope that one of them disappears. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add up, I'm going to add x plus negative 3x, and when I do x plus negative 3x, what do I get? Negative 2x. And I'm going to add 3y and negative 3y. And when I do, I get 0y, don't I? Well, guess what? 0y is 0. So the reason they call this elimination is be because I just eliminated the y's, didn't I? And so I'll have equals 7 plus negative 9 is negative 2. Now look what's nice about this. Now all I have to do is divide by negative 2 on both sides. And I know that x equals what? x equals what? 1. And now that I know what x equals, I can take that x and I can plug it into the top equation, 4x, or I can plug it in the bottom equation, 4x, and solve for y. Which one of the two equations would you like to plug it into? The top one looks like it would be the easiest to plug in, right? So I'm going to take this 1 and I'm going to plug it in for x in the top equation. So I'll have 1 plus 3y equals 7. And so I'll subtract 1 on both sides. And I have 3y equals 6. And then I'll divide 3 on both sides. And so when I divide 3 on both sides, y equals 2. And so now I've solved the system of equations. The solution will be at the point 1, 2, where x equals 1 and y equals 2. That's where they'll intersect. So let's review real quick. I added up the x's and I added up the y's. Okay, so when I added the x's, I got negative 2x. When I added the y's, it went away, didn't it? Okay, and so then I knew that I could solve for x. All right, so here's example two on solving system of equations by elimination. The problem in this particular problem is if I add up the x's, I get 11x, right? But if I add up the y's, I don't get zero, do I? Okay? So here's what you need to do. You need to multiply one of the equations by a number so that once you multiply it, then they will cancel. All right? Now here's what I mean by that. If I were to multiply the entire top equation by 2, what would it make this 3y? It'd make it 6, and then 6y plus negative 6y, 6y plus negative 6y would cancel, wouldn't it? As long as you multiply the entire top by a number, you can multiply the entire top by any number you want, as long as you do it to the whole top. Now, when I multiply 2 by the whole top, what do I get? 8x plus 6y equals 19 times 2, which is 38, right? And now look what you notice. Now we're going to ignore the top equation. Say ignore. And now we're just working with these two bottom equations. Okay? And now I can solve it just like I did before. I can add up the 7x plus the 8x, and what do I get? 15x. And I can add up the negative 6y plus the 6y, and I get 0. So it equals... 38 plus negative 23 is? Huh? 15. 15. And so now solving for x is very simple, isn't it? Divide 15 on both sides. And so I have x equals 1. And so now that I know that x equals 1, I can take that 1 and I can plug it in for x on this x, on this x, or on this x. Any of the three x's will give you the same output. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug it in for this x right here at the very top. So I've got 4 times what? 1 plus 3y equals 19. And so I'll subtract 4 on both sides. And so I have 3y equals 15. 
I'll divide 3 on both sides, so y equals what? 5. And so my solution is the solution 1, 5. And what I'm saying is, I'm saying if you were to graph the two equations, that is where they would intersect. 